If people really respected Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, would they come few days after his death to the house of his daughter, Fatima sallallahu alayhi and threaten to burn it down? I mean, leave everything alone. Leave religion aside here. If a person comes and saves another person, person was about to die, drown, he actually saves him. How would you pay back this individual? Fatima al-Zahra says, Don't you hear Rasulullah stating that you respect an individual by respecting his progeny, his children. That's how you respect it. Take care of his children. How did you guys take care of me? What did you guys do? Nine people, nine people were ordered to come and attack the house of Fatima led by a person. He came. He shouted from behind the door. Get out or I will burn this house. They told him inside the house is Fatima. Inna fiddari Fatima. Qala wa in. Fatima is inside the house. He said, so what? We will threaten to burn the house down. And so Fatima, salamullahi alayha, stood behind the door of her house. And that's when the individual then attacked the door. Now even the Qur'an tells us that do not enter the houses until you seek permission for entrance. And this is not an ordinary house, this is the house of Nubuwa. And he attacked that house. Then Fatima salamullahi alayha fell behind the door. As Zubair came out of the house carrying his sword, but the sword fell from him. So when the sword fell, they captured him. Then Amir al Mu'mineen came out of the house. And then they gathered around him and they put the ropes around his hands and they took him to the masjid. And right there, watching and observing everything, is Imam Hassan alayhi, and Imam al Hussein and Zainab and Um Kulthum. They're watching the whole thing right there. These little children of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam are seeing their mother Fatima, the lady whom Rasulullah used to kiss her hand every time he would come and visit her. Now she's behind the door in the state and she fell down. Sheikh Abd al-Zahra al-Ka'bi, may Allah bless his soul, a sheikh who died about 30 years ago or so. He used to recite in Karbala, in the haram of Imam Hussein. He says, one night in the dream, I saw Imam Hassan and Imam Hussein. And Imam Hussein told me, a sheikh, why don't you read our musibah? I told him, Sayyidi ibn Rasulullah, every time when I go in the haram, I recite your musibah, your tragedy. You and Imam al-Hassan, salam Allah alayhim, both of you. He said, Ya Sheikh, that is not really our musibah. He said, what is your musibah then, Sayyidi? And I will recite it. He said, Ya Sheikh, on the day when they attacked the door, our mother Fatima, salamullahi alayha, fell behind the door. My brother Hassan and I, we were looking at her and we didn't know what to do. Shall we stay with our mother Fatima? Or shall we run after our father Ali ibn Abi Talib who was being dragged in the streets of Medina? People were all in a shock. This is Ali ibn Abi Talib. This is the hero of Khaybar. This is the hero of Uhud and Hunayn. Now they have ropes around his hands and they are dragging him to the masjid. Is this Ali ibn Abi Talib? Then she woke up, she got up and she said, Zainab, Bunayya, Aina Abuki, where is your father? She said, Ummah, they have taken him outside. She said, come with me. Then she took Hassan on one side and Hussein on one side. She went after Amir al in calling, Khallu ibn Ammi, awla akshif, let dua ra'si. Leave my cousin alone or I will make dua against you people. Amir al in turned to Salman. He said, Ya Salman, go tell Fatima not to make a dua because if she makes a dua, Allah will perish all these people. Salman came back to her. He said, Ya Fatima, inna abaki bu'itha rahmah, fala takuni ala haula innas niqmah. Fatima, your father has been sent as a mercy to the people. Don't be a curse against them. She said, Am. 
they have taken my right away from me and I have been patient. Um, they've just killed my baby and I've been patient. But now they want to make my children orphan. I will not let them do so. So leave my cousin alone. When people saw this, the second man then ordered his servant to come back to Fatima. And he started hitting her with the end of his sword. People were all calling, this is Fatima. Hadihi bin to Muhammad. This is the daughter of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. How could people forget? That's why in her sermon, she stated in one of the parts, Ayyuhannas, I'lamu anni Fatima wa abi Muhammad. Oh people be aware that I am Fatima and my father is Muhammad. I'm saying it repeatedly and you people know it is the truth. And then she went to the grave of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. And she would shed her tears calling, then they let Amir al Mu'mineen come back. They let him go. He came to her. He said, Ya Fatima, how are you? She said, If you are fine, then I am fine as well. He said, Ya Fatima, do you hear the call of the Adhan? She said, Yes, Ya Amir al Mu'mineen. He said, if you want to continue hearing the call of the Adhan, then we have to be patient, Ya Fatima. She said, okay, Ya Amir al Mu'mineen. And indeed, indeed, she kept her patience. And that's why when she left this dunya, Amir al Mu'mineen went to the grave of Rasulullah. Qala, Ya Rasulullah, Qad isturja'at al wadi'a wa ukhidat al raheena. Ya Rasulullah, the trust has come back and your weak daughter, the one who has been weakened through the pain and the suffering, she's gone and she has joined you, Ya Rasulullah. Ah, 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 